Okay, this is my final winter setup. Uh, so I've actually got uh, three wheat colonies and one medium one. Uh, so no, got nothing to lose. Uh, so typically my setup is similar to this, but I don't have the skirting up there. So I added the skirting and I added some bubble foil wrap with uh, some extra pieces of styrofoam on top. Uh, and I've wedged uh, two inches of styrofoam in the front using these slats holding this roof. Uh, one of the heat loss methods is, so we do get really long nights. Uh, we get about five hours of uh, daylight with not much solar gain during that period. So a lot of radiation, so negative radiation, so losing heat. Uh, so this should help keep it inside. I've previously, I had sensors above uh, the hives below the roof and it was about a five degree difference between there and outside uh, especially when it got colder uh, so this should help keep the heat in I've reduced the entrances so there's a block styrofoam uh, there's a slot so it's a, a funnel type entrance so they're well uh, insulated now so it should simulate indoor wintering I even with my previous setup, it was pretty damn close to indoor wintering, so the exposure temperature underneath. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's these pieces on top are not screwed in or anything, so I can just pop them off. And then I think we're supposed to get about 10 degrees Celsius uh, sometime next week. And what I'll do is I'll just pop the tops really quick and could have a look at the fondant I put in. And then I might pack some in one final time until uh, later in the winter. But yeah, there's not much I can do, like I said. Uh, so there are wasps, uh, yellow jackets visiting right now. Uh, it hasn't been cold, even though it's been minus 11 and stuff like that. Uh, they're really resilient. So I'm hoping we get like a minus 20 or so uh, just to kill off the wasps. Uh, because the bees are in cluster. Or they're they're not really defending the entrances so the yellow jacks or jackets are are going in so typically by this time of year we'll have like minus 10 minus 15 evening temps and it's enough to kill the yellow jackets off but uh it's been cold but not that cold yet so anyways uh i've got lots of monitoring here and i'll probably add a temperature sensor above here in this enclosure just to see how uh, it behaves and uh, it'll give me an idea of just how much solar radiation or I shouldn't say solar but uh, radiation is lost from the top of these colonies so yeah we'll see how they do